Welcome to Exam Study YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see the daily current affairs of September 21, 2019. Before that, those who are in subscribe our Exam Study YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and also do not forget to click the bell button to get updates from our YouTube channel. So first, we can see the answers for the yesterday's current affairs questions. First question, World Biofuel Day is observed on which date? The answer is August 10. Second question, the Virasat Ekalsa Museum is located in which state? The answer is Punjab. Third question, Tungareshwar Wildlife Sanctuary is situated in which state? The answer is Maharashtra. Fourth question, which crop is being affected by pink bollworm pest? The answer is cotton. Fifth question, third international electric vehicle conclave was inaugurated in which city? The answer is Gurugram. September 21, International Day of Peace. Each year, the International Day of Peace is observed around the world on 21st September. The General Assembly, United Nations General Assembly, has declared this day as a day devoted to strengthening the ideals of peace both within and among all nations and peoples. The 2019 theme of this International Day of Peace is Climate Action for Peace. So here we can expect a question. The International Day of Peace is observed on which day? The answer is September 21. September 21, World Alzheimer's Day. The World Alzheimer's Day is observed on 21st September every year to raise the awareness about Alzheimer's and dementia. This day is celebrated for generating awareness and due to seriousness of this disease, it is celebrated for the whole month in some countries. So the theme of the World Alzheimer's Month 2019 will be Rising Awareness and Challenging Stigma. So here we can expect the question that the World Alzheimer's Day is observed on which date? The answer is September 21. Government notifies 8.65 percentage interest rate for EPFO members. The government has approved 8.65 percentage interest rate on deposits in Employment Provident Fund for the year 2018 to 2019. The Ministry of Labor and Employment has notified 8.65 percentage rate of interest on EPFO deposits for its over 6 crore subscribers. So here we can expect the question, recently government has approved what percentage of interest rate on deposits in EPFO? The answer is 8.65 percentage. The Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and Mongolian President Kalt Magin Batulga jointly unveiled the Lord Buddha statue at Gandhan Monastery in Ulaanbaatar through video conferencing. The Mongolian president arrived in New Delhi, is on five-day state visit to India. India and Mongolia had established a strategic partnership in the year 2015. The partnership between the two countries which is based on the ideals of freedom and democracy and on a strong foundation of shared Buddhist heritage has been considerable, has seen considerable progress during the last few years. So here we can expect the question, the Gandhan Buddhist monastery is in which country? The answer is Mongolia. 55th ITEC day celebrated in Dhaka. The 55th Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation Day was celebrated at the High Commission of India in Dhaka, Bangladesh on September 19. The ITEC offers opportunities to participants to avail of short and medium term courses in premier institutions like IITs and IISCs in India. It was instituted in the year 1964 as part of India's Development Assistance offering for developing countries. So here we can expect the question, when was Indian Technical and Economic Cooperation instituted? The answer is 1964. Keledi findings traceable to 6th century BCE. In a major turning point in the cultural historiography of the ancient Sangam age, the Tamil Nadu Archaeology Department has stated that the cultural deposits unearthed during excavations at Keledi in Sivaganga district, Tamil Nadu, could be safely dated to a period between the 6th century BCE and 1st century CE. This is the first time the date has been officially announced by the Tamil Nadu Archaeology Department. The recent scientific dates obtained for Keeledi finding push back the date of Tamil Brahmi script to another century that is 6th century BCE. So here we can expect the question that Tamil Nadu Archaeology Department has stated that the excavations at Keeledi in Sivaganga district belong to which period that is between 6th century BCE and 1st century CE. Third meeting of the Central Advisory Board on Disability. The third meeting of the Central Advisory Board on Disability was held in New Delhi under the chairmanship of Sri Tavachan Gelot, Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment. The Central Advisory Board deliberated on certain major issues in the disability sector, namely implementation of the RPWD Act 2016 Accessible India Campaign, Unique Disability ID Project. So here we can expect the question, where was the third meeting of the Central Advisory Board on Disability held? The answer is New Delhi. 16th session of the 
joint economic commission between India and Belgium Luxembourg Economic Union. The 16th session of the joint economic commission between India and Belgium Luxembourg Economic Union was convened in New Delhi on 17th September 2019. The JEC that is joint economic commission or convened based on an agreement signed in the year 1990 in New Delhi. This biennial event is organized in capital cities of the three countries alternatively and is a main vehicle for discussing economic and commercial issues between the India and the Belgium Luxembourg Economic Union. So you can expect the question that where was the 16th session of Joint Economic Commission between India and Belgium Luxembourg Economic Union held? The answer is New Delhi. The International Migrant Talk 2019 India has emerged as the leading country of origin for immigrants across the world with 17.5 million international migrants in 2019 coming from India up from 15.9 million in the year 2015 and this was according to the International Migrant Stock Report 2019 released by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs in New York. And the report also stated that the Bangladesh was the leading country of origin for migrants in India. So here we can expect the question that which country emerged as the leading country of origin for immigrants across the world according to the International Migrant Stock Report 2019? The answer is India. And then we may also expect the question that who releases the International Migrant Stock Report? The answer is United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs. India slips to 104th spot in FAFA rankings. The Indian football team slipped a place to 104th spot in the latest FIFA rankings. Belgium managed to hold on the top position while France have surpassed Brazil to reach the second spot in the FIFA rankings. So here we can expect the question that what is the current rank of India in FIFA ranking and the answer is 104. Handbook on Fisheries Statistics 2018 The Union Minister of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Shri Giriraj Singh, released the Handbook on Fisheries Statistics 2018, published by the Department of Fisheries of Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairy, Government of India. The Handbook on Fisheries Statistics 2018 is the 13th edition, which presents a useful statistical information for various aspects of fisheries sector. So the last 12th edition of this handbook was published in the year 2014. So here we can expect the question, which edition of the handbook on fishery statistics 2018 published recently by the Department of Fisheries of Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Rating? The answer is 13th edition. National Educational Alliance for Technology Need Scheme. The Ministry of Human Resource Development has announced a new scheme, National Education Alliance for Technology Need, for using the technology for better learning outcomes in higher education. The objective is to use the artificial intelligence to make learning more personalized and customized as per the requirement of the learner. The All India Council for Technical Education AICTE would be the implementing agency for this need program. The scheme shall be administered under the guidance of an APEX committee constituted by Ministry of Human Resource Development. So here we can expect the question, which ministry recently announced National Educational Alliance for Technology Need Scheme for Better Learning Outcome in Higher Education? The answer is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Second, Scarpin Submarine Khanderi. Mazgon Dock Shipbuilders Limited called Shipbuilder to the Nation delivered the second Scorpion Submarine Kandiri to the Indian Navy at an event held in Mumbai. The submarine Kandiri is named after the wide snouted sawfish, a deadly sea predator of the Great Indian Ocean. The first submarine Kandiri was commissioned into the Indian Navy on 6th December 1968 and decommissioned on 18th October 1989 after more than 20 years of human service to the nation. So here we can expect the question, name the second Scarpin submarine recently delivered to the Indian Navy. The answer is Kandiri. Sri Rajnath Singh becomes the first defense minister to fly LCA Tejas. Sri Rajnath Singh has scripted history by becoming the first defense minister to fly the light combat aircraft Tejas. He congratulated the HEL Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, DRDO Defense Research and Development Organization and Aeronautical Development Agency for building the multi-role fighter aircraft. So here we can expect the question, where is the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Aeronautical Development Agency located? The answer is Bangalore. NDRF set to induct women personnel. The National Disaster Response Force is all set to induct women personnel in its new battalions within the next one year. The union government had in 2018 made a proposal to attach the women contingents to NDRF battalions in the country. So here we can expect the question that union government made a proposal to induct women personnel to which defense force in the country? The answer is National Disaster Response Force. 
New Indian Air Force Chief. The government has appointed Vice Chief of the Indian Air Force Air Marshal R K S Badauria as the next Chief of the Air Staff. He will take over on September 30 and will have a two-year tenure. He had played a key role in the negotiation for the deal with France for 36 Rafale jets. So here we can expect the question: Who has been appointed as the new Indian Air Force Chief? The answer is R K S Badauria. National Geoscience Awards. The National Geoscience Award for the year 2018 for outstanding contributions in the field of geosciences, mining, and allied areas were presented to 22 scientists from across the country. Professor Syed Wajid Ahmed Nakvi, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, received the award for excellence for his significant global contributions in the field of aquatic biogeochemical research. And Dr. Sohini Ganguly of Goa University was conferred with the Young Scientist Award 2018 for her significant work in the field of petrology. Volcanology and geochemistry. So here we can expect a question that who received the Young Scientist Award 2018 in the National Geoscience Awards? The answer is Dr. Sohini Ganguly. Tamil Nadu became the first team to enter the semi-final of 25th Senior Women's National Football Championship. Tamil Nadu has become the first team to enter the semi-final of the 25th Senior Women's National Football Championship being held in Arunachal Pradesh. In the first quarter final match in Pasigar, Tamil Nadu beat Madhya Pradesh comfortably by 4-2. And here we can expect the question that which state became the first team to enter the semi-final of 25th Senior Women National Football Championship? The answer is Tamil Nadu. Bajrang Punia Ravi Dahia qualified for 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Bajrang Punia and Ravi Dahia qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, winning their respective quarter-final matches in the World Wrestling Championship at Noor Sultan in Kazakhstan. So here we can expect the question that Ravi Dahia is related to which sports? The answer is wrestling. Now we can see the daily current affairs questions of the year 2019. If you know the answer for these questions, please give your answer in the comment section, and we will give you the answer for these questions in the next day current affairs video. But Question: International Youth Day is observed on which date? Second question: Who established the Indian National Committee for Space Research in the year 1962? Third question: Mukhya Mantri Krishi Aashirwad Yojana was launched by which state? Fourth question: Kanchen Sara Lake was recently discovered in which country? Fifth question: World Elephant Day is observed on which date? In the description box below this video, we have given the daily, weekly, and monthly current affairs PDF and the videos link, and also we have given the quiz link. Please make use of it and be successful in your exam. Thank you.